Okay, so I've opened up um, PHP my admin, so we're going to be uh, sort of administering our database. Let's have a look at what we've already got stored. Now, your database could obviously be different. You could be using it for different purposes. Mine is um, a basic login uh, database, so this information that's stored about users is going to help us log in. Now, that's irrelevant for now. We've got an ID of six for Alex and an ID of seven for Dale. Now, this is a unique incrementing value. So what we could now do is modify our generation dot php file to take in a user's id and what that's going to do is it's going to return their email address um, as we have just by typing it in here so let's just close the source um, here so uh, the first thing we need to do is connect to our database so let's go ahead and just quickly connect to our database um, we're going to say mysql connect now this is very rough so don't follow my example uh, in this sense, um, there is another tutorial about connecting to a database. So root MySQL select DB. So what we're doing now is we're selecting the database, which I believe is called A underscore database. So A underscore database. Now let's perform a query. Um, and this is going to be MySQL query. And we can say select email so we're selecting the email field which is here so select email from um, so what's our um, our tables called oh sorry our tables called users so select select email from users where ID equals and we want to specify the um, ID um, of the user and that's going to be taken in let's uh, copy and paste this up here um, so query equals mysql query select mail so our id here is going to be we'll just call this id for now and um, what i'm going to do is add some just some security onto this so i'm i'm going to enclose this in my mysql real escape string to um, help prevent our sql injection um, okay, so if is set uh, get, and this time we're going to get the uh, value ID, and um, we're now going to say ID equals dollar underscore get ID. So now let's uh, let me briefly take you through what I've done. I've connected to the database using my, uh, or the connected to the server, the MySQL server using my credentials. Then I've selected my database. Now I'm checking for an ID input. The ID is going to equal the input that we've specified using our get. Otherwise, email is going to say no email specified once again. So down here, what we can do is perform our query, which we've performed. Now we should retrieve some information back. So I'm going to say query result is equal to um, MySQL result. Now we can specify the query that we executed. And we can also spe specify the row, which is going to be zero, because we're only going to retrieve one row. And then the field here, so that's going to be email. So the query that we performed here, the uh, row, which is going to be the zero row, which is the only row that's been returned, and email there. So um, what we could do is have checks in here to check if this exists, or if the ID exists. Um, I suppose we could quickly do that now. If MySQL num rows query is greater than or equal to one which it will never be greater than one we can include this check anyway this comparison anyway and do uh, then uh, get the result otherwise um, email equals um, ID not found now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the um, change the name of this query um, here this uh, variable here I mean to email because the value that we're returning from this MySQL result function is going to be the email address of the user therefore now what's going to happen is our script is going to run as normal so let's go through this again just so you make sure you entirely understand we're connecting to our database or connecting to our server selecting our database checking if this ID value which we previously had let's go back to our source we previously had as email equals this will now read ID equals and then we're going to specify a specific ID. Um, then the ID variable here is equal to what we've specified. Otherwise, email equals no email specified as we did before. 
Now what we're doing is perf we're performing a query. Um, in fact, we're going to perform this query here inside here because otherwise uh, there's no need to continue um, and we'll change this to no ID specified. So sorry if that's confused you, let's bring this down to make it, make it a bit easier to read. So if, if we have set this ID thing then we complete a query. So query is selecting email, so we're selecting one field from the users table where our ID equals the ID that we've specified, so ID up here, ID up there. MySQL real escape string for a bit of uh, security against SQL injection. Now we're checking if the rows uh, returned are bigger, greater than or equal to one. So if they are greater than or equal to one, which means that we have successfully retrieved an email value, we retrieve this value by using the MySQL result function, our query that we've run up here, uh, zero row, which is the only row that's been returned, and we're retrieving the email field. Otherwise, email equals ID not found. Then we come down here and we do our checks as I've already explained in the tutorial. So let's test this out after that long uh, mouthful of um, explaining. Let's go back to index.php. Let's first of all not specify uh, and see if we return with the correct error you'll see no ID specified. So now let's go in and say ID equals. Now the ID that we have in the database, the two IDs, we have six and seven. So let's specify this to 10 because that doesn't exist. So we should, when we uh, refresh our page, retrieve the result um, saying that we uh, the ID has not been found. So ID not found, so that's fine, it works. Now let's go back and do it sensibly so we can say 6. Now what this should now do is retrieve the email address of user 6 and that is alex at sumdomain.com. So let's go over to our page and refresh and we retrieve alex at sumdomain.com. So not only are we converting this to text, we're securely doing it because now if we look at our page source, the email address doesn't exist anywhere in this code. Okay? So our bots are going to find it harder to pick up um, a, a plain text email value. So let's just try it with uh, 7 which is Dale's email address and then the tutorial will be over. So let's refresh and you can see that's changed to Dale at sumdomain.com. So that's a little bit about why you should uh, use this method as much as possible and a really quick and easy way to do it. Um, play around with the code, make it your own, change colors, change font sizes, um, and uh, I wish you all the best of luck with creating this um, because our functions uh, do get a bit tricky.